So what's going on guys, Kids here, welcome back to a brand new video and today I will show you how do you make Fortnite trailers and that type of stuff for Fortnite creative mode. If you have seen my previous videos when I made top 20 lists, top 10 lists for the best parkour maps, the easiest, the hardest, like the most fun maps as well the creative ones and that type of stuff. So a lot of you been asking how do I make the third person view and how do I do all those stuff. So in today's video I'll show you that. So first thing that you do is go to your settings and go to the second tab which is game and scroll till the end and here you can see record replays and record creative mode replays you want to take both those things on on record large team replays you don't really care about that so leave it off then click apply go back click play and launch your own server okay so whenever we are on our own island all that we do is go to the search tab so first of all here you can see all the maps that have been researched and that type of stuff you can do whatever just for example i'll go into this one okay so whenever we have gone into this map this actually is like really good looking map either way so the first thing that we do is we want to load every single each one of this maps things so to render the whole map itself we just need to go around the thing and be about like 10 to 15 seconds in this map itself why do we want to do this so the actual thing itself will go back to the replay and we want to load every single thing. If the map is bigger, of course, you will need to spend a bit more time, but just go around and whenever you look around the map and whenever you do this, make sure that there are any like no like broken blocks or anything like that. So basically right now you can see the normal walls. If something you don't see, like there is a middle in the tower itself, then it's probably has not been rendered. So you want to render it. Anyway, so this is a small map, we render it really fast. All that we do is leave match and go back to the lobby. Okay, so we're back on the lobby. All that we do is go into careers and click replace. So here you can see the creative mode has been replayed. Here on the bottom right corner, click play and confirm. Okay, so right now we are on the replay. For now, we'll just click pause and mainly I usually work with pause. So here are all the things that we will work on. So the first thing that we do is here as well, you can see our deaths, so that doesn't really matter. The first thing that I do is go into this thing and see where it lands me. So the first thing that I usually do is go into the gameplay, so you can see the actual gameplay itself, and go a bit further, something like this whenever I was rendering. So by this time, probably the whole map has been rendered. So from the gameplay, go to drone free. And then here you can see like the speed. So I would like recommend here you can see on the left corner the speed itself. And with the scroll wheel, you can like go zoom in and zoom out. So what I do is here with the Q, go up and down. So here itself, you can see the actual map. So this is how I make trailers. First thing that I do is do all these things that I just mentioned. Here with speed on the left corner, just check it out. I go to 0 0.5. In my opinion, that's the best speed for trailers. Of course, you can go to one as well but in my opinion 0 0.5 works for me the next thing that i do is click this one and here you can see this is how we record and how basically i record everything of course it's a bit slower what i would recommend as well for the video is just to turn off your sound because that's kind of annoying so basically this is the actual thing itself then you of course you can work in your obs or whatever and record how it looks like whenever i press mouse i can move in and move up remember q and e is up and down and then with normal movement you just move around the map so for example imagine that i'm right now recording this so i would start from this thing then go up something like this of course you can go through the walls as well so check it out here is the parkour map itself we can go through the walls back and forth and this is would be how i record my maps and i record all my trailers so I really guys hope you enjoyed this especially for all the new content creators who want to make their own map trailers this is how you do it. If you're asking what software I am using, it's OBS. It's basically for free, so you can just like adjust some settings and have a great map. Of course, I'll go into my settings so you can see what works for me. For the best quality, in my opinion, textures, effects, both of them are on medium, everything is off and view distance is on far. For Epic, it kind of was a bit blurry, so I went with far. Of course, show FPS, click on off and put all those things off. So in the left and right corner, you will not be able to see nothing. So this is basically how you can get in third person and make trailers. So yeah guys, like I previously said, I really hope you enjoyed. 
and found this very helpful this fortnite video tutorial anyways guys if you enjoyed this video click like and guys don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with every video that i make which is every single day thanks for watching hope you liked it my name is kate signing out have a good day see you tomorrow peace Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you